Uh, I don't usually do these. I'm gonna kind of showcase my base and do a little base tour. This is basically uh, one of the most expensive bases I've ever seen in Rust. Uh, it is my base. It's the base that I built. Uh, it's been a very special wipe over this Christmas break. A uh, ton has happened. Uh, you know, it's been it's been absolutely incredible. Nothing but amazing memories. Uh, I'd like to give a special thanks to a couple of my friends. Uh, I'm Morseful, love you buddy, uh, Robert, aka Tarke, thanks for helping me out man, it's been a blessing, uh, Doge, aka Curtis, you're a huge bitch, but I love you, and yeah, uh, Columbus as well as uh, Sev, been absolutely insane, uh, just yeah, I wanted to bring that out there, Without these guys, it definitely wouldn't have been where I'm at right now and wouldn't have been showcasing this base, so thank you. I'm going to start out with the outer compound. Uh, before we start, just want to let you guys know that this is a warrior base. The base that uh, he made, which I basically copied. The footprint is exactly like it was. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more to it. I tweaked it the way that I wanted to. Uh, this, As you can see, the base is fully high quality. Uh, Due to the swipe being a little different, they modified uh, quarries, so people were able to get a lot of crude and a, or sorry, a lot of diesel and and trade that in for either sulfur or high qual. So we start out with the externals. And these are decaying right now because I got on a little bit late. Um, basically, it's got you know about the same upkeep on each external, uh, so. Between all the experiments, I'm just about 275 high ball a day. I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, this is obviously a vanilla server. So everything that happened, you know, we grinded for very hard. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears. So as we enter the compound, uh, I did a little hallway thing. There's tons of turrets. This was the first turret space that I had built. Um... And basically, yeah, we used it to progress, smelt a bunch of our metal and sulfur. As you enter the first airlock, we got a bunch of drop boxes. I'm really not going to show too much of the loot. There's a lot of it, you know, boxes of AKs, boxes of high fall, just random stuff everywhere. Um, this is kind of the main area where you enter the base. The base started from a simple 2 by one uh, as you enter here, there's, you know, the typical stashes that people have been doing. Walker behind the vending machine. I, don't, I didn't really want, want to show that because, you know, not a lot of people know about it, but hopefully uh, it stays that way. Not sure how good this video will do. Took off this armored door to give to a buddy, but yeah, there was one door there. Um, this is the main upkeep on the main TC. I think uh, if it was full, you could get about 17 and a half hours on it. These were the drop boxes originally, but we started putting main loot and stuff in there before I built open floor and we got kind of lazy. Bed floor. And just so you guys know, I did build this base myself. Uh, the people that you see lying around, um, they helped me throughout the wipe, uh, helped me on do online raids, but the majority of this stuff that I did I did by myself or with one or another person. The people that you see on the team here are just people that I had just met 20 minutes ago. I'm just helping them out uh, to get some DPs because it is the day before wipe. So. so when you enter through the peak downs, the peak downs are modified to kind of have some angles to retake peaks. Here, all the turrets are dead right now because. Uh, because the windmill had died, so the battery got drained. The open core wasn't fully finished, sadly. I never really got around to finishing it, but there is a bunch of loot up here. Um, pretty standard open core, nothing too crazy. You got your Vendis for flexing loot. Uh, another entrance down to the peaks. You got two entrances. You got the deep loot rooms for extra storage, so you can place another four boxes at the bottom. Uh, here's the way up. When you enter the shooting floor, you got beds, turrets, uh, pretty standard peek downs into the open core. 
definitely going to change a few things about this base, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it was like. I did get online in this base multiple times, so it was pretty fun. Uh, shooting four, I messed up right here, so I wasn't able to place a window. I had to kind of improvise. But yeah, pretty standard wide gap shooting four. Definitely going to have to modify that at some point. Uh, the boys are back from the recycling run. So as you go around, yeah, you have pretty good view of the entire compound. Tons of angles. Tons of ways to peek through. As you go up uh, on the actual roof, there's more peek throughs here. Uh, a couple of sand sites against MRS rockets and helis trying to land on your base. You got more ways to peek onto the roof. People land or try and top down you. A couple of turrets. Uh, sadly, the boxes got destroyed right here. <laughs> I had literally like a couple boxes up here with a bunch of stuff, but I think they got rocketed out or Sam site or something like that. Oh, one of the Sam sites is just gone entirely. That's cool. That's super cool. Um, yeah, so pretty standard, pretty standard group. Got walkers for defense. And we'll take a look downstairs into the compound. As you jump down on the other side, you have another sort of hallway thing that I did. The only reason why I did these was to kind of separate the compound and so for people to kind of go, like they wouldn't be able to door raid you in a way, but since it was high quality as it is. And just to make it clear, I obviously didn't always have this base the way that it looks right now that you guys see on the screen. Um, I did high quality about five days ago when i uh raided this 18 man uh, i got my hands on you know a few boxes of high quality so i decided to just pull the trigger it's not every wipe that i get to do this but hopefully with this new update uh i get you know to kind of go about it this way a lot more often sometimes things don't work out the way that you want them to but this wipe they definitely did so as we go on here I would step outside the compound. So this is my uh, my buddy Pudgy. This is his furnace base that you know I built him last night. He got offline, so I let him live next to us. He's pretty loaded in here, but he left all his doors open. <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, he decorated it. Very cozy, actually. I like it. Tons of stuff right here. Pretty standard furnace base. And I just attached it to my external TC because once again, we got offline. There was a neighbor that lived next to us. I like to help people out, so I felt bad. And I wasn't wasn't too long before the wipe ended, so I figured he could just live next to us. Be protected by, by us, I guess, as well. The compound is a little bit of a mess. I had to improvise due to the elevation of the hill and stuff. It's, uh, you know... Totally not what I wanted to do, but it worked out. It did its job. Uh, also, there's a mess on the other side as well because some of the walls got destroyed when uh, we we're getting raided. We got MRSed a few times as well, so you can see windows missing right there. But yeah, overall, it's been an incredible wipe. Special thanks to everybody who joined. I know who you are. And, uh, yeah, hoping, hoping to see you guys again next week, uh, more to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Once again, this is, personally for me, been the most expensive base that I've ever seen and lived in. And being something that I built, I wanted to show off my creation. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please, uh, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks again. Peace.